Hey guys, I have a haul video today. Um, a couple random nail polishes and then some Kat Von D stuff that I ordered from Sephora. So I'll just do the nail polishes first. I got three of the Jessie's Girl polishes from the Julie G collection. Um, there's a lot of pretty colors in that collection, but a lot of them look exactly like colors I already have. And what I'm trying to do is get colors I definitely don't have because I have so many nail polishes already. I really don't need more. But um, I picked up this one, which is called Stiletto. It's like a grayish lavender with some shimmer to it. I don't know if you can see or not. I don't want to like spill it all over everything. All right, and then there is Girls' Night Out, which is this really intense blue. And this is probably my favorite one. It's called Mermaid's Lagoon. I love the name, first of all. And then it's like this um, turquoise, and when the light hits it, there's gold sheen to it. Hopefully the camera will pick that up. Yeah, you can kind of see. There it is. The golden sheen. And I haven't put this on my nails yet, but I am excited to try that. And then I got one Essie nail polish, my first Essie nail polish ever, in case study. And at first I looked at it and I thought it was ugly, but then I'm like, that's kind of like a unique color. I don't have anything like it. It looks like coffee. And I've really been liking, like I said in a couple videos already, like nude colors for some reason. I don't know what it is lately with me, but this is just like a dark nude, so. Very different color from the rest of my nail polish collection. Alright, now for the Sephora stuff. Um, I'm going to do a separate video with swatches and everything, but for now I'm just going to show it to you. Um, of the eyeshadow palettes, and then I got the... Poetica perfume, the new one from Kat Von D, just the rollerball. Um, it looks like this. It's purple. Looks like all the other rollerball perfumes, only this one's purple. And it's got a like a filigree design. And this one is kind of it smells like another perfume and I can't think of what it is. In the um the description on the website said it had like notes of berry in it and I don't smell berry at all. I was thinking it was going to smell kind of like the Britney Spears um, Fantasy Midnight one because I love that one because it smells like berry. This I really like this one. Don't get me wrong, it smells good like all her other perfumes. But it's, um, I don't really get fruity from it. It's really hard to describe. It kind of smells like, um, I just, I can't pinpoint what other perfume this smells like, but I know I've smelled something like it before. It's not spicy at all, like the Saint one. It's not vanilla scented, like this, I mean, the Sinner one was the spicy one. It doesn't smell vanilla-y like the Saint one and the St. Angelus one. Um, if anything, it smells, the closest one, it smells like, it smells closest to Adora from her line so far, but, um, I don't know, more, a more floral version of Adora is what I get from it, but yes, that is the Poetica perfume. Then she came out with three new palettes, so, um, I'm thinking they're gonna get rid of the, the older palette packaging, because these are all, um, different. Let me just, I don't even know how to describe it. They came in awesome boxes with, you know, her crazy designs. This one is the Saint one, and it has roses on it. And it opens up like an accordion, like all the other packaging. Um, it came, This I thought this was really cute. It came with a little sample of the high voltage eye primer in skin. It's just a little square package. And this one is what this is what this looks like. They're metal now, like 
kind of like an antique looking tin. It's got the rose design on there and this square is white on this one because this is the Saint one. It says all the names on the back like the, uh, the old ones do. And it's got a little button in the front that you push to open it and it's kind of like spring loaded so it flings open. It has a huge mirror which I don't want to blind you guys, but it's a huge mirror. <laughs> and then it also comes with one of her autograph eyeliners, which is, it's just black. It's called, I don't even know if it has a name, but it's just a black one. It's very creamy, very pigmented. It's like um, the Urban Decay 24-7 liners. This looks like that smudges really well. Um, that's what that looks like and then it's got mostly neutral colors and it looks a lot like I don't it was one of the first two palettes that came out. The only, those are the only two that I don't have. It was either the Ludwig one or the Beethoven one. I can't remember which one had all the neutrals like this but um, it's kind of like that palette. I know a lot of people are saying that there's too many similar colors in these three palettes to her other palettes, but I think that's because they're going to get rid of the old ones and start coming out with this kind of tin packaging. Either way, all gorgeous colors. I'm not going to bother swatching them now. I'm probably going to have the next video that goes up after this one will probably be a swatch fest of all these palettes, but for now I'm just going to show them in the haul. Alright, and then... The Sinner palette has the same artwork on it as the Metal Orchestra one, I believe it was. Where is that one? Yeah. The skull with the butterfly wings. Same exact artwork, so I don't know what's up with that. Like I said, I don't know if they're going to get rid of the old ones completely. I know a couple of them are on sale. I think the Truth one is on sale. That one, they all came with um, the little sample of eye primer. It's got the skull design on this one too. And this one's black, the little square. And then you open it, it's got the huge mirror again. It has the little eyeliner and then these beautiful shades. I love this fourth one in. It's called Violator. This one right here. It's got so much glitter in it. It's just like purple with tons of glittery goodness. So that's what that one looks like. And then the last one is the Poetica one. This one has kind of like all fancy filigree letter, uh, lettering. Filigree designs and purple down here. And then it's got the purple square. That's what this one looks like. And again, has the eyeliner in it. This one is very similar to the True Love palette. It has actually has two of the same colors, the Babe and Skiba color, these two. But, um, what I like about these is they've eliminated the cream shadows. I don't know how many of you had problems with that. I know, um, when I would talk about the other palettes and how the cream colors dried up so fast, it, a lot of you agreed with me, so I know that I wasn't the only one that had problems with that, but none of these palettes have cream colors in them anymore, which is a good thing because you're getting another eyeshadow. Like, this is kind of like the cream the coppery cream color that came in the True Love palette, but it's a regular eyeshadow. It's not a cream. So you're actually getting your one, two, three, four, five, six, your eight eyeshadows and don't have to worry about a cream one drying up. So that is everything in this haul. Like I said, the next video going up is probably going to be all the swatches of these palettes. So stay tuned if you want to see those. I am excited to swatch them all. I haven't even played with them yet. I just got them in the mail yesterday and didn't have a chance to really get into them or play with them. So that's it for now and I will talk to you guys later.